had a few good moments in my career in San Diego up to this point, and I look forward to having a lot more great moments there. I really enjoyed this this whole entire process, believe it or not. As far as sports is going, I think a lot of people are really excited for these uh, San Diego Padres. I'm just happy to be a part of it. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. New Padres first baseman Eric Hosmer met the media on Tuesday after finalizing an eight-year, $144 million deal. Pods GM A.J. Preller knows the 28-year-old four-time Gold Glove winner is a great fit in San Diego. Eric as a player um, brings a lot to the table. Uh, you know, I think from, from an offensive standpoint, he's demonstrated ability hit for average, hit for power. Uh, he's a two-way player. He's a defender, obviously a four-time Gold Glove winner. And from our standpoint in the baseball operations, we were so convicted that he was the guy for us at this time. With J.D. Martinez now a member of the Red Sox, the D-backs made a splash for another outfielder, acquiring Steven Souza Jr. in a three-team deal with the Rays and Yankees. Arizona also gets Yanks pitching prospect Taylor Widener, while New York receives Arizona infielder Brandon Drury. As for the Rays, they get Yanks prospect infielder Nick Solak, as well as D-backs prospect lefty pitcher Anthony Banda. Yeah, I played this game for two reasons only, and the first is to, to give glory to God, and the second is to win a World Series. And so I, I am extremely thrilled to be a part of an organization that wants to do that. And the Yankees reached out to the Diamondbacks about Brandon Drury during the winter meetings back in December, and their interest in him is basically as a guy who can give Glaber Torres and Miguel Andahar some more time to develop. There's still another big-time free agent pitcher on the market, although he might not be for long. Former Cy Young winner Jake Arrieta is reportedly having conversations with the Phillies about a potential deal, according to MLB Network insider John Heyman. The 31-year-old Arietta went 14-10 and 10 last season with the Cubs, notching a 3.53 ERA. Jake Arietta is still looking for a deal similar or maybe better than the six-year $126 million deal that Hugh Darvish got from the Cubs recently. The Phillies are not really willing to go more than three years, maybe four years on a deal for, for Jake Arietta. Anytime Dodgers ace Clayton Kershaw toes the rubber, there's always a buzz in the air, especially when it's his first live spring training tosses of the year. The three-time Cy Young winner's outing was short, throwing 22 pitches to Yasiel Puig, Chris Taylor, and Andrew Tolles. Meanwhile, new Cubs starter Hugh Darvish also threw his first live VP of the spring during a 25-pitch session that drew rave reviews from his teammates. Darvish inked a six-year deal with the Cubs last week. For more on these stories and complete spring training coverage, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.